हेलो गाइज आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू सब्जेक्ट सो ऑल ऑफ यू आर रिक्वेस्टिंग मी टू स्टार्ट द बेसिक्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड अ लॉर्ड अबाउट द कॉम्युनिकेशन वी हैव कवर्ड एनेलॉग कॉम्युनिकेशन डिजिटल कॉम्युनिकेशन वी हैव कवर्ड द ऑप्टिकल कॉम्युनिकेशन एंड वायरलेस कॉम्युनिकेशन इवन so now we are starting the electronics part and like we started the communication with the very basics we are going to start the electronics part also with the very basics so let's start with the today's topic which is the introduction to the electronics engineering and in today's lecture we are going to start the electronics engineering we are going to see what is electronics then what are the electronics components that we have and what are the various applications of the electronics so let's start our discussion with the introduction to the electronics so we all are saying and we all are hearing that we are living in an electronic age what is electronic here we are having various devices in our daily life which are electronic like if i say your mobile phone or your laptop or your computer by whichever medium you are watching me is electronic then your tv your television is electronic right and then your radio and then your microwave oven in the microwave oven it's an electrical device but various electronic phenomena are used we can set the timer right it's an electronic thing in the refrigerator you can set the temperature at which your refrigerator will work so that is also an electronic concept and after that the robotics right so all of these things are electronic after that you have the autonomous vehicle in the autonomous vehicle you don't require a driver it's automatically driving and it composes of a lot of electronic components right so automatic vehicle or autonomous vehicles are just a combination of a lot of electronic devices right then we have the hearing aid devices some people cannot hear the various sounds that we have in the world but with the help of just a small electronic equipment in their ear they are going to hear all of the sounds isn't it amazing so electronics plays a vital role in our daily lives right we have various uh, medical instruments as well like we have the ct scan we have the ecg then we have the cro all of these are the medical instruments that we are using in our daily lives cro is another instrument that we are using in our colleges as well right we have various other medical instruments also which are totally electronic so this is how i can say we are living in an electronic age this is an electronic age you are surrounded with numerous electronic items and this is the importance of electronics in your life right so what is electronics electronics is the engineering which is dealing with the current conduction right so current conduction will be happening through the vacuum through the gas or through the semiconductors for some of the people who don't know what is semiconductor we are going to talk in detail about the semiconductors in the upcoming videos right so as of now you must have heard about the word semiconductors so we are going to provide the current conduction through any of these devices right and with the help of regulation of current now how i am going to regulate the current with the help of some controlling devices what are the controlling devices controlling devices are the devices that resist like we have the resistors or which are going to carry select switch steer store manipulate and exploit the electrons and after all of these things this is called the processing of the current and after processing of the current i am going to get the desired application right so i hope you understood what is electronics now coming to the various electronic components that we have broadly we have divided the electronic components into two main categories the first category is the passive components and second is the active component so now what is an electronic circuit electronic circuit is a circuit which is primarily having the active components and we have some supplement passive component 
So now we should understand what is an active component, what is a passive component in a circuit so as to understand what is an electronic circuit. So what are the passive component? The component which operate without the external power source. Like we have the resistors, we have capacitors, we have inductors. All of these are operating easily without any external power source. Right, then we have the active components. The active components require a source of power to operate. Right, so whenever I want to make them functional, I have to give some external power. Right, like we have the transistors, we have ICs, we have LEDs, we have SERs, we have triacs. So don't worry if you don't know some of them, we are going to talk in detail about all of them. And this is what electronics engineering is. So I hope now you understood the basic difference between the active components and the passive components in any electronic circuit and how the electronic circuit is made. Primarily we have active components and in addition to that to supplement the action of the active components we have passive components. Now coming to the applications of the electronics. We have numerous applications of the electronics. So the first application, the general application. Like we can use various electronic items or various electronic components in some general applications. What are these electronic components? Like we have capacitor, we have the cathode ray tube, right? Then we have the digital signal processor. We have diodes, we have relay, switch, transformer, FETs, resistor, thermistor, JFET, LCD, inductor, LDR, MOSFET and thermistor. Right, so we have talked about thermistor twice. What is thermistor? Thermistor is going to change its resistance with respect to the temperature. Right, LCDs are the liquid crystal displays. L LDR, what is LDR? Light dependent resistor. So its uh, resistance value is going to change dependent upon the light. Then the junction field effect transistor which is called the JFET and FET. FET is called the field effect transistor. MOSFET, metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. Right? So we have these things. Now BJT is called the bipolar junction transistor which is also known as transistors in our daily life. So all of these are the general applications, the general devices that we have which are providing some general application and we are talking about all of them in the upcoming videos about their detailed applications. Right? Then these electronic components are used in the communication. If you have seen my communication videos, various times I was using transistor, diode, switches and many other electronic components. So it is going to use in the communication and now where the communication is used, communication is going to connect the people around the world. So if I want to connect to a person who is situated in US, I can do it right with the help of the various electronic devices like we have mobile phones, we have internet, we have computer. Even you are talking to me with the help of the various electronic devices right. So we are communicating with each other and the radios are also used to send the information. Radios are going to transmit the sound only, we all know about it and on the other hand TVs, the televisions are going to transmit the sound as well as the videos. Right, so this is the basic difference between the radio and the TV. Then it is used in the information processing. So for information processing, we are using either computer, laptops or our mobile phones. So computers have the capability to handle huge amount of information very accurately and very correctly, even precisely. So if I am going to give you a lot of information, you can store it very accurately and correctly in your computer, laptop or mobile phone even. Right, so computer is going to solve the difficult mathematical problems which a normal human will be taking a lot of time even days or months to solve. So computer is going to solve these difficult mathematical problems very easily. It is going to maintain vast amount of data, right? 
so it has various storage devices our memory is having limited capacity we cannot store enough of information if i am going to give you 1 lakh numbers different numbers of six digit so can you store it in your brain you cannot but computer can store it very easily it is going to create complex simulations also so it is going to handle various information processing very easily very accurately and very precisely now coming to the use or application of electronics in medicine as i told you previously as well electronics is used very much in medicines it is used for various uh, medical equipments for testing like it is used in the x-ray machines and for ecgs so in x-ray machines and in the ecg what is happening in both of them we are sending some radiations to the human body and these radiations reflect back depending upon the reflection of the radiations we are going to make an image so with the help of x-ray machine or ecg we are going to locate or we are going to make the picture of bones and various other organs which are there inside our body so it is used in the radiation therapy as well and which is also called the radiotherapy so in the radiation therapy or in the radiotherapy what we are using we are now using the x-rays or the radiations to cure a very dangerous disease like cancer we can have the cure of the cancer with the help of radiation therapy or radiotherapy then it is used for the hearing aid i have already told you now it is used in various other instrumentations which we use in our daily life some of these instruments we are using in our colleges as well like we are using cro the cathode ray oscilloscope so cro is a electronic instrument which is going to show me and process various digital signals as well as analog signals and it is going to show the effect with the help of a screen as well now we have the multimeter multimeter is going to measure various parameters like current voltage and numerous other parameter resistance as well so this is the reason it is called multimeter it is going to measure multiple things then it is going to use in the ph meters which is going to use the ph of the given solution right so it is going to use in the strain gauge to measure the effective radius or the diameter if it is very less it is used in the vtvms and the frequency counters which are used in the clocks or the communication devices as well now it is used in the automobiles as i told you we are moving towards the autonomous cars autonomous automobiles and if i no if i don't have any autonomous car if i have normal car as well various functions are going to be electronic in my normal car as well so electronics is going to play a vital role in my cars as well so it, it is going to control the engine as well as fuel system as well right so electronics is going to play a major role in the automobile industry as well and it is going to control the airbags we all know when any accident is going to happen so what happens the airbags are coming out automatically so this thing is controlled with the help of electronic system so that the life of the driver can be saved so it is used in the automation as i told you if i have automatic cars in that most of the 90% of the components are running electronically right even more than 90% each of the component we are running electronically we have various electronic components in our home as well like the refrigerators right so dependent upon the weather it is going to change the temperature on its own right so then we have the washing machine which are going to stop after a predefined time that we set and then it is used in the toasters toasters are also going to stop based upon the temperature or heat inside it so we are working very smoothly and very efficiently with the help of various autonomous electronic devices that we have in our daily lives so devices are electronically programmed also so that they can turn on and off very easily right so i can have various devices like your ac your ac can turn and on or off electronically 
with your predefined time it can turn on or off so you can program all of the components that you have then it is used in the research so it is going to give me various powerful tools for research as well as for scientists for their studies right so it is going to give me electron microscope electron microscope is working on the electrons basis and electrons are going to give the magnified view of any image and then we can find out the various components that we have like we can see the cells or we can have various insights about various material with the help of electron microscope then it is used for the tracking weather system right so if cyclone is going to come or not we can track it with the help of the electronic systems and st scientists are still working on it so that they are going to get a very accurate predictions so it is going to use in the designing of the drug molecules as well right so like we are uh, designing the vaccine for coronavirus as well so we are designing various other drug molecules against various other diseases as well so it is going to give me the theory about the development of galaxies and stars so it is going to tell me various theory it is going to help me in the studies of extraterrestrial environment as well and so we can study about moon stars or even other planets as well if we are present on the earth so i hope you understood each one of the things that i have discussed in this video if you still have any kind of doubt you can put your doubt in the comment and i will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible i hope you like this session if you like it please push the like button subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and also give me your feedback thank you so much